Hello, my friends. Let's talk about forgiveness. Let's talk about forgiveness um, as viewed by A Course in Miracles. That forgiveness is the means. It's our practice. It is probably the most um, recognizable attribute of A Course. People who know the Course, and if you were to say name, name the underlying theme of the entirety, and it is about establishing, reestablishing our relationship, our sonship with God through the means of forgiveness. That forgiveness is a way of um, going past the ego, seeing directly with the sight of spirit, because the forgiveness as seen through the ego is always about bestowing. I give forgiveness that when you have suffered enough, when I feel that you've deserved it, when it's been well earned, or hey, maybe I just want to show you how big of a person I am, then I forgive. Or maybe you haven't earned it. Or maybe I'm not ready. Or maybe, 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 always something. And what A Course in Miracles says is we don't have a choice in forgiving. We either stay stuck in a world of our perception that is caused by our judgments, our fear, our resentment, our grievances, or we forgive and we see the world in a new light, in the light of love, in the light of unconditional love. The other day I was, um, I had a comment on a YouTube live stream about uh, someone says, I will never forgive. And then they named a truly horrendous thing that yes, indeed, um, seems unforgivable. And in a sense, I agree. I don't think I can forgive that. However, I'm not asked to forgive, meaning I can't forgive from the ego. My ego would never see uh, an underlying innocence in someone who might have committed such a horrendous act. What the Course says is don't forgive through the vehicle of the ego. You never can. Not truly. You never truly forgive. In the back of your mind, you're always thinking, um, this person did this to me. Or that person probably isn't truly, truly sorry. I'm going to keep an eye out. Nothing's truly forgiven by the ego. It's a way of keeping score. And the Holy Spirit says, no, there's no score. There's an even playing field. There is no ego involved in forgiveness. That we are asked to look deeper than the ego and see the source of original innocence of which is shared by all of us. So we pray. There's another way of seeing this. There is another way of seeing this situation, this event, or this person. And I know that by clinging to my own egoic view, that... I can never be free. I wish to be free. I wish for another way of viewing this world. That is my prayer. And that is the art of forgiveness. It's never about the other person. It is never about the circumstances, the effects. It is never about the effects. We go straight to the cause. And the cause is always fear. Whatever act was done, whatever event occurred, stems from a fearful perception and we forgive we go past the perception and we see the cause and we forgive the cause because it's a shared cause same cause that i have this is the world that i've created through my own perceptions through my own guilt through my own resentment i'm working on it guys i'm cleaning up my mess Forgiving as I go along. One issue. One seeming person. One ego at a time. Eventually, we'll get there. We'll all get there. Um, let's just keep doing it. Let's just keep forgiving. Looking past the surface. Going deeper. That's it, guys. Take care.